13 years ago, two brothers decided to take a chance on an up and coming neighborhood and open a pizza place. We're here at D'Alessandro's Pizza to talk to owner Nick D'Alessandro about how he got started, where they're going. This is Low Country Locals. Let's go check it out. Nick, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming in. So tell me a little bit about D'Alessandro's Pizza. Uh, D'Alessandro's Pizza, my brother and I started it. We're both Nick and Ben D'Alessandro, so it's our last name. Uh, we started it after graduating from college in 2004, and uh, we didn't really know what to do with ourselves, so we said, let's, let's open a pizza shop, because we know how to make pizza, and if we fail, we fail young. And if we don't, then we're successful. And so 13 years later, we've been successful. Um, we're in the Elliott Borough neighborhood of Charleston, which was pretty rough when we found it. Uh, there used to be like drug dealers out in the corner, but um, now it's a pretty nice neighborhood. We happened to get in right at the best time. And, uh, you know, there was the Five Loves Cafe and Hominy Grill were in the neighborhood before us, and then we kind of came right into the middle of the hood, and uh, and that helped change things a lot. But we like to use fresh ingredients and uh, try to make everything in house and do, and make the make the best food we can. So, did you have any prior pizza experience when you started? Yeah, yeah, we had both been, uh, I'd been in and out of restaurants, different types of restaurants, and then my brother had worked in p basically pizza uh, all through college, so we knew pizza. We didn't really know management that well, but we figured it out along the way. Now, you are eat in, eat eat out, and take delivery, it. correct? Yeah, we do about half our business is delivery and about 20% takeout. And so 30% eat in, <clears throat> which a lot of people don't realize that most of our business is delivery. So uh, people are always astonished by that. Now, recently, you were in the news for delivering pizzas to the TSA agents during the shutdown. Right. Um, how did that come about? Um, it's just my brother's idea. He just called me up and said, hey, uh, we should deliver pizza to the TSA this afternoon. I said, okay, sure. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it seemed like a pretty simple idea, and people yeah. really, people really liked that we did it. So I, I think it's great, you know, yeah. the local business, you know, helping the local community they were working without pay. Yeah. So you decided let's just give them lunch and thank them for everything they're doing. Yeah, and I happened to just I, I grabbed my GoPro and took it to get some you know to get some footage of it and. Uh, and so I posted it to the internet, and yeah, everything, it kind of went a little, it went locally viral. Well, Nick, thanks for having me. Thanks for everything you're doing in the community. And let people know where can they find you? Uh, DLSPizza.com. You can find our address, our online ordering. Um, we're at 229 St. Philip Street in Charleston, and we're also at 17 Mohawk Drive in Greenville. Thanks so much for joining me, and thanks for making a change in our community. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for joining me this week on Low Country Locals at D'Alessandro's Pizza. As always, I'm your host, Bill Olson from ERA Wilder Realty. And if you own a small business or are making a change in our community and would like to be featured on a future episode of Low Country Locals, please don't hesitate to reach out at 843-580-8010. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye.